Uh, okay. Shall we begin? Yes, sir. Hello. Hi, Uzma. Welcome. Hi, sir. How are you? I'm very good. So uh, let me just introduce what we're doing. I'm James. This is James Green's English class, and I teach a open conversation class on Zoom every day here at 13 UTC. It's live streamed, it's free, and it's one hour every day. Um, mixed level class, so beginners, intermediate, advanced, teachers and native speakers welcome as well. And um, if you'd like to speak, say your name, where you're from, speak to the whole group, and we'll join on what we have in common, play to integrate our differences for the purpose of learning English. So that's my introduction. Uh, if you have any news or distractions, you could bring in some news or distractions as we start. And I have some news. My news is that um, I'm trying out a little, a new way to bring in members, students, other participants into the group, and I'm doing it on a monthly basis. So start today's August 1st. I'm starting that uh, pilot program today, and I'm not accepting any new students for August. So anybody who has come into the group, into the WhatsApp groups, Telegram, Discord spaces, uh, so far we'll um, we'll include them. I'll, I will include them. I'm muting you, Ikra, just for a minute. And um, if people would like to join the class, my classes or the school, um, we can put them on uh, like a waiting list or a plan to possibly include them for September. So that's my news. Does anybody else have any news or distractions? In Indonesia, I want to share a happiness today. So with this hectic schedule, two parents came to me to appreciate what I've been Nani, to do. Nani, Nani, would you, would you turn, yeah, would you turn off your fan? Your fan is on. I just arrived so hot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe just fan turn it off just for a minute. Can you hear me? I don't That's hear. Better. I don't yeah. On um, earplug. I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, <coughs> great. So, still the pen sound? Much better. Ah, where are, where am I? <laughs> it's uh, two parents came. They are specialized in uh, lungs. They uh, bestie. They came to me. Uh, Six months ago, and I got uh, a year ago, and I got COVID. They trust, they trusted their son to me. Then they have the progress, and they uh, what is it? Join the Olympic by the school. So the parents came to me to appreciate that the fantastic things I've done for six months. Good news. Anyone Great. else? Other news or distractions? Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Oscar. I am from Guinea, Bissau. Uh, here, my news is that I, I, I have seen a lot of messages, you know, different ways you know, in the groups. You know, it seems like something really great. Now, games is not upsetting new students for this month, August. So that's great because is if we are upsetting every, every day new students, it's kind of, you know, can a little bit complicate for the students who have been joined this group so far. So we have to make a limitation of upsetting the new students into the group. So I'm happy for this news. That's great. 
Now, and, uh, Oscar. Now, Oscar, that's actually work for the group. That's something for us to talk about. You'd like to respond to my news. Great. So, and you're happy about it. You like the news. So maybe we're ready to work. Go ahead. Say anyone else if you're done. Uh, yeah. And uh, I, I would love to ask you a question. Uh, so James, uh, the last time you... You, you told us if we have any family who, who, who lives in the United States of America, you can help them to find a job. So I, I have one of my aunties. Uh, Not, exactly. Uh, <laughs> okay. Not exactly. Not exactly. Go ahead. Uh, okay. So I was saying that, yeah, I have one, one of my aunties who lives there. So in this moment, she's not working. I don't know if it can help, you know, just mm -hmm. to find a job. Well, where, where, where in the United States does your auntie live? In New so York? I think, she, yeah, no, 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 no. She is North Carolina. Yeah. Uh, no, I, unfortunately, moved. yeah, North Carolina. I, I can, it, I'm not working with people in North Carolina. Um, uh, if, she, if she was near me, then I could do something, but North Carolina is, um, out of my jurisdiction. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I, I would want, say, I, I would say, I would say you might invite your aunt to participate here, uh, starting next month and maybe being here she might get some benefit. But other than that, um, no. Okay. Say anyone else again, Oscar. Thank you very much. I will, I will talk to you about that. Hmm. That might be interesting. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Anybody else? Yes. Samir Rania from Egypt. Um, yes, I'm happy uh, because two days ago, I came back from a journey with the uh, uh, a holiday journey with my family. I spent uh, uh, a week with them uh, on a coastal uh, city in Egypt. I enjoyed uh, with the uh, sea view and uh, the thing, spending um, interesting time with my family, my parents, my uh, uh, brother and my sister, beside my kids too. Yeah, anyone else? Mary, Mary. Yeah, I don't know what that is, if it's the television or, but um, thank you for muting. Uh, so Rania, I heard that you're, uh, you just got back from a family vacation by the coast. Yeah. Great. Sounds great. Thank you. I would love to take a family vacation, a vacation somewhere. Maybe I will. I not, enjoy not... so much. Oh, yeah. Swimming? Yes, swimming. Do everything. Uh-huh. <laughs> Playing, swimming. Yes. I leave my child home. <laughs> you what? Yeah. <laughs> you, you, what did you say? You leave your childhood? Yeah, yeah, yes. So what, I enjoy with everything, playing, swimming, uh, uh -huh. playing with my, yeah, my kids, everything on the sand. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, uh, Rania, you said you leave your childhood. I, I think, I'm wondering exactly, do you mean you played with your children or do you mean you got to be like a child yourself? Uh... I feel actually I have a work uh, all the year, so it was a great chance to uh, get rid of uh, many uh, stress from uh, my work and some of uh, uh, family responsibilities, cooking, cleaning, everything. So it was a great chance to uh, swim. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't think on any stress on my mind. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, play with uh, my kids on the sand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, enjoying with the uh, with the sun, um, get out of uh, uh, visiting visit, uh, visited some places, 
uh, on at night. Yeah, do shopping. I did shopping many places. I bought many interesting things, dress, uh, and many things. Yes, I enjoyed there actually. You got to forget Anyone about. Else? You got to forget about uh, your responsibilities for a short period of time. Yeah. The only responsibility you had was to have fun. Actually, I needed this period. Yeah. Anyone else? Um, I see a question in the chat about the live. The live is that we are recording this conversation onto YouTube. James Green's English Classroom YouTube channel so that uh, the daily call and the daily classes are there um, for other people to watch. If you're not here live, you can watch it again. Well, you can watch it again, or you can watch it for the first time if you're not here. And it's a public channel. Back to you. Yeah, hi James. I'm from India, uh, so actually I'm happy because uh, nowadays uh, I have started exercising, like starting uh, some kind of gymming. So I'm very happy about that. Like uh, the whole day I am energetic because I'm a kind of uh, lazy person, but uh, before some days I started some uh, exercising. So I am good now. And I'm happy too. You've started exercising and you're yeah. more active. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah thanks. Congratulations. I imagine um, it feels good to exercise. And you'd be surprised. Actually, it might help you learn English because. When our, um, you know, when we are in a good, in good physical health, I think our minds work better. Yeah. Yeah, actually, but, only, only, uh, I started uh, from the, since last week, but uh, today I realized this thing because from the last week uh, I was uh, kind of, I had some body ache and kind of thing because my body was not trained uh, to do exercising, but uh, slowly, slowly, uh, now uh, I am used to it. Hmm. Anyone else? I am Dalich. Hi, Mary, Ihab, Amans, Amira, Fateme, Ima, em Emmy, Rosa, Saiba, iPhone. I don't know who you are. You might let us know your name and where you're from rather than just have you the, the phone say phone. Um, hello, Mark, Greece, Aisha, Taufik, Zainab, Saidale. And here comes Solongo. I have some news, um, uh, recent news. I, I wrote about it in Discord. Hold on, Emmy. I'm just going to bring in my news. I um, mentioned in Discord that I met um, a man from Afghanistan. And um, he's a really interesting guy. He worked as a uh, in Afghanistan and came to New York as a refugee five months ago. And um, I I'm hoping that we get to work together because uh, he has a lot of very interesting stories to tell and um, big plans for himself and for working with people in Afghanistan. Very interesting man. And I like meeting people who are doing things like that and want to work with me. Um, he, he was mentioning that he wanted to work with me on reaching out to more people who
who are refugees from Afghanistan in the United States uh, to learn English. Go ahead, uh, Emmy, would you like to bring in your news? Uh, hello, sir. Um, I have joined the class now, but uh, I can't uh, know your, I don't know your uh, topic, what's the topic is going on. So can you please tell me? Yeah, the topic is news related to being in this group, new information that uh, you would like to tell us about yourself and your movement towards your goals. Now, the fact that you're here itself, that is news because I believe you're new to this group. Is that right, Emmy? Yes. Okay. Great. Can and, I and tell let you me... about it? Yes. Can I tell yeah, you about absolutely. My... Absolutely. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, before, uh, I think six months ago, I was teaching in a, a college and my routine is, uh, uh, is quite uh, tough. And all the time I, 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 uh, I was delivering the lecture to the students. But uh, after that, after six months, I joined the uh, company. And as you know that the, there is a sedentary habit like this. So we are working on a computer and all the time we are sitting. So my routine is a little bit changed and I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting fat and uh, this is the, I think this is the, uh, you can say that this is the flaw. Uh, so, but after that, when I come to the, to my home, uh, I, I, I did the, I do the exercise daily after, after my dinner and that's, uh, I can manage. And uh, yes. Where are you in the world? What country? I'm from the Pakistan. Pakistan. And and what is your level of English? Do you consider? Um... It's not so good. Um, not so actually, good. Yes. When we uh, when I I was uh, delivering the lecture to the students, so the lecture is all in uh, was all in the English, but uh, at that time I knew the uh, topic. But I think that the common conversation, it is very difficult. And, and, and were you, when you're giving a lecture, are you a student or a teacher? No, I'm, uh, I was a teacher. Oh, you're an English teacher. No, no, I, I, I was not English teacher. Uh, actually, I did the uh, MPhil, uh, MS in bi uh, biochemistry. Okay, so uh, uh, a biochemist. And you were taking yes. classes in biochemistry, but you were doing that in English. Yes, yes. So that's advanced. I would consider that advanced because it is a, it's a area of professional specialization of biology. And yes. I want you, we, you might be interested. I started um, um, a session on biology for students of English. Uh -huh. And we have. No, another... I'm just uh, want to. Uh... Yes, I, I just want to take the uh, lesson of English because my spoken is not so good in English. I understand. And you, that's yes. fine. That's fine. This group right now, you're in a mixed group and it's not the biology for students of English session. Um, and you may not be interested in it, but I just wanted you to know that that is um, available since that is your area of professional specialization, you might want to do that also. Okay, thank you for telling me. And I'm so glad to uh, talk with you. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, good. I'm, I'm glad to meet you too. I think that um, it's, it's an area uh, that I do not know much about, but is interesting. Actually, actually, there is a yes. field, there is an academic field, which is a crossover between what I do and what you do. And it's called, it's called biolinguistics. Okay. And it is, a, it is an advanced topic 
where uh, biologists team up with people like me, people who study language, and they find uh, and research some of the um, brain chemistry and biology related to language learning. Yes, so, yeah. it can be. Anyway, back to you, back to the group. Oh, yes, and Emmy, um, we don't have my co-host Ahmed, I believe he's not here, um, but perhaps someone, I'm muting you, Mohammed Tariq. Perhaps somebody else can uh, share the links with the in the chat uh, if you want to stay connected with us through the public groups like Facebook. Um, some of the private groups I'm going are closed for the month of August, but you can continue to participate in the daily Zoom call and watch us um, on YouTube or Facebook and um, stay connected with us. And, yes, and in this group, in this group, when we finish talking, we invite other people to speak by saying anyone else, and that lets people know we're done and want to hear from others. So go ahead and say anyone else if you're done. Okay, uh, can you tell me the time? Oh, well, the time is this time. It is uh, started 20 minutes ago, 13 universal coordinated time. It's this time. Okay, I'll, I'll join. Great. Anyone else? Uh, hello, uh, this is Oscar speaking. I, I actually have an question, uh, you know, I hear uh, Emily says, uh, I don't know if I got your well, but I think she, you know, you said, you said you were teaching in college. So to me, when you say college, it's, it's mean like a university, am I right? Now, Emmy. I'm talking if, to you, Emmy. Now, uh, Emmy. If, excuse me, Oscar. Emmy, so Oscar is asking you if he understood you. Yes. And uh, you, can so, let, you can let him know. I'm going to introduce myself. What are you saying? I can't understand the question. Okay, let me help. Let me help here. So Oscar is asking you, he said uh, he heard that you teach in college or university. Is that true? Uh, yes, I was teaching in the college. University okay. is something like different. Uh, okay, university okay, okay. Now, the higher level. Now here, okay, excuse me. Uh, now here is my confusion. You know, to me when Oscar, you say- Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. You've been in this group for a couple of months. You're an, you're an advanced participant here, and I'd like you to demonstrate it. You muted yourself, Oscar, but I don't know why I'm talking to you. Yeah. Would you, yeah. right, when you speak, would you speak to everyone rather than do an interview style? You're about to go into an interview. You're definitely, you're definitely right. You're definitely right. Yeah. Oscar. Yeah, so I know I'm right. So so separate from Emmy and talk to the whole group. Yeah, okay, good. So to me, when I hear the word of uh, college, uh, to me, it's it's like, you know, similar to university, you know. I, I don't know if that's right, but some people, you know, uh, like French languages, when they say college is from level of six, you know, 70 to 10 in a French language, so. To me, when you say university, it's a kind of, you know, you, you, you were teaching in university. Yeah, this is what I understood about, yes. you know, college. Oscar, Oscar, different countries have different names for different levels of education. And some of them, unfortunately, use the same word to mean different things. So college means something different in the United States than it does in the United Kingdom or France or Pakistan. So 
we're not, it's not really so important. The details about the individual education system in each country, maybe it's not so important. Maybe it is, maybe you're, you're curious about it, but just know that the word is used differently depending upon each local education system. Okay, that, that, that's most important. Here in my country, when you use the word of like college, to me, you know, it's like, yeah, universally, you know, higher education, when you say college, you know, I'm teaching college, mean you're, you're teaching in the university, but as you say, games, depending on the country, to variate. Here, it depends on the country. Yeah, that, that's true. Great. And I would like to change the topic. Well, you've already brought in something. So if you change the topic, um, you might be either interrupting yourself or you might, you might not be changing the topic. Let's see what happens, Oscar. Um, this is Amira James. Please make a make a I uh, co-host. Okay. Okay. Happily. And speaking of which, Amira, I just want to throw this in here. Excuse me, Oscar, for a moment. Um, I wanted to know, Amira, if you wanted to continue to be the learners speaker, the speaker for the learners uh, for the month of August. I know you did it for one week. And um, I wanted to check with you. I forgot to check with you at the student meeting yesterday. You don't have to answer now. Just think about that. Back to you, Oscar. Yeah, I have already put a question there. I don't know if that's okay to the group to change the topic. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. If it is okay, I love to change the topic. Okay, so uh, the way we work here is if you want to change the topic, you just ask the group if it's okay. Is it okay if Oscar changes the topic? See a thumbs up from Amira. Hello. Well, right now we're just checking if it's okay to change the topic. Thumbs up, new topic, okay. I see a few thumbs up, no thumbs down. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Great, go ahead, Oscar. Uh, thank you. My topic, my suggestion is that, uh, so I, I love to do role play in a scenario. It's been a long time we don't do role play. Mm. And I would like to do role play, yeah. I miss it so much. Yeah, I don't know. That's it. Say anyone else. Anyone else. And now I just want to distinguish between doing role plays and talking about wanting to do role plays. I'm not doing role plays right now, but you certainly welcome to talk about wanting to do role plays and missing it or why, what you like about it. So anybody want to join Oscar on wanting to do role plays or wanting to do something or some wanting something? Ikra, I see your hand is up. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi, Akra. Where are you from? I am from Pakistan. All right. Go ahead. Speak to the group. Hey, I am. Today, my first day to join the group, English group. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. My spoken English is not good. So I want to improve my English. We have um, six levels of English in this group. Beginners, intermediates, advanced, teachers, native speakers, and not so good. Many people are on the level not so good. And you might find uh, that you're actually better than you, you think, or you just want your English to be better than it is. Yeah, yeah. I want to improve uh, my English is better than. That's what we do here. We work on English and improving English and you can, uh, you know, talk about yeah. what your what your specific goals are. Maybe you have, um, you know, maybe you'd like to learn vocabulary. You'd like to just practice uh, everyday conversation. 
grammar, reading, listening, um, maybe some area is of particular interest to you that you want to work on, you could talk about your goals exact, you know, because English is a big, is like a, a universe, it's very big. And you might start to think about what do you want to improve? What part of English ability do you want to improve? Yeah, I'm listening to English uh, table talk. Uh -huh, what? I am listening the I am listening the interview in English. Oh, listening to interviews. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's great. What what interviews do you listen to? Would you like to say like interviews on television? Um, yeah, yeah, interviews on television. Oh. I also love listening to interviews. Interview style is um, not to learn English, oh, yeah. but just to, just to get news or to get information or to hear people talk. I like hearing people talk. So I like interview shows. I watch them sometimes on uh, YouTube or podcasts. And especially, you know, my interest is in philosophy. So I like to, there's um, some uh, recordings of, Philosophy interviews, you know, where one person talks to a philosopher and asks him about their ideas. And I love those kinds of TV shows. Yeah, my subject is mathematics. So my English is not good. Your microphone your, is going in and out. So it, now it sounds like you're very far away. I don't know if you're touching your microphone. You might just try to keep it six inches away from your mouth and check that the it's secure in your computer. Okay. There you are. Yeah, yeah, I am here. Now, if you're, if you want, you can keep talking. And if you're finished, say anyone else. Hello. Hi. Are you uh, to keep in English. Uh, mute yeah, if you're yeah, not talking. Mute if you're not talking. Go ahead, Ikra. No, no, I am talking. You are talking. I realize that. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you finished? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, anybody who wants to join can join Ikra. Hello, yeah. sir. Hello. Name first, Saidale Sulayak? Yes, I am Saidale Abdul Sulayak from Philippines. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You know what? I'm really honored from now because I'm talking with a real American. I, I mean, I'm fan of American, even in the Philippines. Every time I talk, I mean, every time I saw I'm an American here, I really admire them, and uh, of course, um, based on my, pro I mean, professional specialization that I am a student, or shall we say, I am a postgraduate in linguistic department, and I really want to master the language, especially I am a teacher in English language proficiency, hmm. so it, I mean, to to elaborate more and to embrace the American accent and to bring to bring here in the Philippines the American accent, especially the proper enunciation, the English language. But here, uh, you know what, I'm really, I mean, I don't know how I can explain my emotion right now because I, I am talking with a real American. Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you are. And it sounds like you're really enjoying yourself. You're happy. Yeah, great, because it's my, I mean, it's, it's my part of my dream to talk mm -hmm. a real American or a native speaker in America, because um, as I said earlier, that I am I am a language educator, mm -hmm. especially to teach them the American accent. And um, I have a study about the language, uh, especially the linguistics. And mm -hmm. uh, of course, that's why you mentioned about earlier the bilinguistics, and uh, that's um, I I don't know I'm speechless right now, and I don't know how can I I mean how how can I um, how can I explain my emotion right now because 
I'm really honored to talk with you, Sir James. Welcome, Saidale. Welcome. So uh, I, I hear that you're very excited and that you're a linguistics student or teacher, uh, to educator, and that your, your area of specialty is also linguistics like mine. And so um, you want to teach English, you want to improve your accent, you want to sound more uh, like an Amer you know, to learn an American accent and also teach American accent in the Philippines. So um, very, you know, very nice to meet you. Welcome. Uh, love to talk to you more about linguistics and biolinguistics and teaching. And, and um, yeah, we, we are, like I said, uh, I'm here every day at this time and I have other classes as well, but at least one hour a day. Um, we'll also have some other text spaces for students and teachers and, um, you know, there's a, there's a community that we have of uh, different activities and people doing different activities. So you're here for the first time. Welcome, um, stay as long as you like and uh, come back and we'll uh, continue to do that. Talking about whatever you like. I can yeah, see that. Thank you very much for. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much for welcoming me here, and it's my pleasure to have you, especially to join you in this kind of society. Again, thank you. Sure, my pleasure. Um, who would like to go next? Hello, sir. Mohammed Mahadi. Yes. Uh, can you hear me? Now, there's something, your sound is a little uh, strange, but I can hear you. There's interference. Uh, okay. Uh, how, about, uh, how about like that? Is it okay now? Uh, let's, let's keep going. We'll try. Okay, sir. Uh, my name is Mehdi Hassan uh, Muhammad. My uh, is my nickname. I'm from uh, Dhaka, Bangladesh. This is my first class today I'm doing here. And before doing the class uh, for the first time, uh, actually, I enjoyed some videos on YouTube platform you uploaded. And uh, it was more than uh, four hours. And I enjoyed uh, three videos you uploaded on the YouTube. Really, uh, I was very surprised after hearing, after, after watching the videos. So uh, here I have a lot of process, but I have learned a little bit. Uh, I have learned a lot of things from you. And I want to tell you, uh, sir, actually, uh, he, I'm here uh, because uh, before only three months ago, I have completed my engineering from a private university, which is located in Bangladesh. And I uh, am willing to develop my uh, listening and speaking section of our English language. That's why I'm here. And, uh, sir, I am really very happy and surprised uh, uh, because, you know, uh, every day you are conducting your classes for four hours, sometimes three hours. I want to know from how you get this energy <laughs> and you are doing uh, amazing for us, really. And it's a great educative platform, I believe, from my heart that here easily uh, by maintaining the consistency and regularity, I can develop my uh, all the section. I mean, reading, speaking, listening and writing section of our English language here. So from today, uh, uh, one thing, you know, uh, I, one of my friends, uh, her name is Endalik. Uh, she shared me the link of this group. And, she's here uh, now. Uh, I don't know, sir. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you, she's here now. Okay, thank you to her. I want to uh, give uh, thanks to her. Thanks a million for sharing the link of this group. And I'm promising, sir, to you that actually I'm really uh, willing to develop my English skills. So that's why I will try to be uh, an active member on this platform and I will maintain my consistency and regularity. And thank you so much, sir, again. Yeah, very. you're very welcome. Nice to meet you, Mohammed. And i um, glad to hear that the videos that we upload or have been uh, interesting and useful to you and look forward to knowing more. I think you said your degree is in engineering? Uh, yes, sir. I have completed a BSc in civil engineer. Civil engineering. Great. There's, a, I think, quite a few people who are um, interested in engineering. I, I don't know if you were here at the beginning when I mentioned that... Um, He's a man uh, from Afghanistan who I may start working with. He's also an engineer. Uh, he was working on a number of engineering projects in Afghanistan to bring, um, what is it called? Um, 
you know, to, well, to bring water to, to different areas. Uh, there's a, maybe somebody can remind me the, the term for that. Oh, it's going to kill me. Anyway, um, engineering is something that I think a lot of people have either studied or interested in. Uh, we have not yet created like a specialty channel for engineering, but it's certainly a possibility. Anyway, welcome. Thank you, sir. Uh, who's next? <coughs> yeah, James, this is Ali speaking. Yeah, one thing I want to know that you were supposed to start uh, US kid study session. Have you started or uh, do you planning did, to start? Did you say kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. US, who is uh, belongs to USA? Oh, uh, not kids, but people in the US. Two different things, two different things. So I have a kids class on Saturdays and I'm doing that. There is a kids class, it's very active. There's about 30 kids between the age of three and 15. So if you want, if you have um, kids of your own and you would like them to participate, you can send me a message and we can put them in the kids class and it's just one hour a week. Yeah. Then yeah, to I... totally separate, Arif, is the, okay. um, I had, I did talk about starting a, a, a class for people in the United States. That has changed. Uh, I uh, am not, uh, it's not ex it's not what I said it was before. I, I I learned that I cannot do it in the way I wanted to do it. So um, I, it doesn't matter because almost nobody. I didn't find anybody anyway. So what 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 are you interested in about that? Uh, yeah, uh, one day I maybe I saw your post that uh, who is actually belong to USA. You you gonna teach them in online yeah. platform. They they I, have to be, they have to live near me. They can't just be anywhere in the United States. They need to live yeah. near yeah. me for now. I might be able to change that later, but yeah. for now it's pe for people who live near me only. Yeah. Anyway, I, I think that yeah yeah. I think that if you uh, if you really start. That time uh, on that video, if we watch more and more time, our fluency will gonna develop more and more because, yeah, all the students, yeah, they are belongs to USA and you are teacher of USA. No, and this... <laughs> no, I, I think you misunderstand. You misunderstand. See, the students who I teach in the United States, their English yeah. is not better than yours. Actually, oh. actually, your English is better than theirs. <laughs> Really? Really? I'm very happy. I'm very yeah, happy yeah. to see you. Yeah. I, I can I some of them I cannot have a conversation with them like I'm having with you. They wouldn't yeah, understand. One thing, me. one thing I want to remember uh, just today. Yeah. I, uh, I I have been suffering whole day in February, but listening to you just I am just uh, feel free and I am just feeling good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> any other any other thing uh, you, uh, uh, oh, yeah any another thing for me uh, uh, so that i can feel more fresh or more feel, <laughs> feeling uh, no no i don't do you have something else <laughs> no no uh, okay yes. that's any, any any anyone else yeah right uh hello it's the oscar speaking james you dropped on my topic now i don't know what i'm gonna do Ah, you, wonderful, wonderful, besides, wonderful. Okay, so, besides uh, that, we have, uh, excuse me, besides we have a policy here, man, I'm so scared of that. I got, I got hit the rule, man. Yeah, have take a, a breath. Here. Take a breath. I didn't see. Oscar, <laughs> Oscar. So, one thing at a time. We dropped okay, your time. No, not excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. No, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, I, I mean, we have we have a policeman here. I'm so you know scared of policeman. Now I I have to hear the rule. I mean, I gotta go, okay? Because you drop down my topic, and you keep talking about something else and drop down my topic. I don't know how, what I what I'm going to do, okay? Done. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, if if the group drops your topic. 
it's fine to come back in like you did and say, hey, uh, some, somebody's on needs to mute. Okay. Um, it's fine if some if the group drops your topic, it's it, you it's uh, you do exactly what you did. You say, hey, the group dropped my topic. I and uh, I, I I must have dropped your topic too because I don't even know what is your topic, Oscar. Oh, my topic was to to doing role play. Ah, like, yes, topic. great. The, the really group, funny, thank you, really funny, uh, you know, Oscar, yeah, really funny topic. Yeah. Oscar, thank you. Yeah, I can hear you. The group did drop your topic. Okay, I don't know. I don't know why. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, the group is not interested. Now, okay, it's, it, it, it's totally great, it's totally fine, it's no problem. Let's try to yeah. find out to do something. It may be my job, not so important. People, but we have choice, sir. Hold on, Mohammed. Yeah. Oscar. Sometimes the group <laughs> is not interested in what we are interested in. The group may not be interested. So you can come back and bring it in and say, hey, I, I still would like to talk about role plays. Or you can hold it. Don't take it personally that the group is not interested. Hold it and bring it in at another time and the group's uh, feelings may change. Mm -hmm. What okay. would you like to what would you like to do? Would you like to bring it back up? Or would you like to no, hold no, it? No, 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 no need. I think I have have to hold it. Maybe okay. I, I will bring it to, at another time because great. right now I can see that people are not interested in that. Great. Which is totally great. Now, totally now, now I, I have to say it happened very quickly and you might have a mind read that the group is not interested and it, it might not be true. The group might be interested still. You could I, check I, it. I, I, I hate it. I hate it. My mind with many people don't like to talk about role play right now. Would you I, like I hate to, it. I, I'm sorry, hate it? No, I say I I, I, I had it on you, my mind. People yeah. be, okay. Uh, well, not, well they, yeah. let's check it out, Oscar. Let's check it out. So, uh, group, is it true? Uh, are you interested in talking about role plays. Thumbs up if you're interested in talking about role plays. Good morning. One thumbs up, two thumbs up, three thumbs up, four thumbs up, five thumbs up. So actually, Oscar, your mind read is not true. The group is interested in talking about role play. How do you feel finding out actually the group is interested in your topic? Uh, yeah, I showed up. I feel okay. I, but I didn't. I actually, didn't. But actually, what what I was thinking is it's not true. I I I heard you know, I mean, in true mind read. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, now here's your choice. Now that you know there are people interested, you can either stop and see if they want to say something, or you can keep talking about your experience, you know, with the mind read. What would you like to do? Would you like to hear from people who want to talk about role plays? I love to hear them. Say anyone else. Anyone else. Good, good, good afternoon. So my name is Bokarde. I'm from Senegal. Did you hear what I'm saying? Yes, Bakar from Senegal. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. I greet you all, and I'm so happy to be here. And uh, you know, I hear from your conversation with uh, with Sir. I forgot the name. Oscar. And uh, we are Oscar. We are so glad, but uh, sometimes uh, just. Uh, what I think is just to give the others the floor to say their ideas. 
I don't know if you understand. Uh, uh, ba Bokar, now yeah. you have the floor and it's a chance to say your ideas. So what are your ideas that you'd like to tell the group? Just uh, we, we can't our, our opinions. We, Great. We try to say a topic in which everyone or each one can give his own opinion. Yes. On now, the topic, yeah. Exactly. The, yeah, the top now, the topic that Oscar raised is about yeah. role plays. I don't know if you are familiar with role plays. Sometimes people who learn English do role plays. And uh, Oscar's saying he wants to do role plays and he'd like to talk to people, other people who want to do role plays. So that's the topic. And now your, um, you know, your job would be to join Oscar, if you can, on this topic. Would you like to do that? Yeah, but I want to understand the, what does it mean, role plays. I just uh, want to Great. know the definition yeah. to understand Great. it clearly. Great. So you have a question about what exactly role plays are. Now, who would you like to know from? Me, Oscar, the group? Who would you like to tell you what role plays are? I want you to explain me. Okay. I'll, I, you wanted an uh, explanation from me. I'll give you a short ex explanation. A role play is when we do make believe or play pretend time. And it's like a theater where my name is James, but in the role play, I'm not James. I am uh, Hamlet or Romeo or, or Bob, somebody I pretend to be somebody else. And then I have a conversation, maybe in real life, I'm an English teacher, but in the role play, I am a musician and I'm having a conversation with someone else who is another musician. And we are talking about music and performing um, a big concert, anything we want. It's a, it's a way to use our imagination to have conversations in um, different situations, which are made up, not real. Can you tell me what I said, Bokar? Yeah, I, if I understand well, it means that it's like a character in the book. So when yes. we read, for example, in the little voice, we have the main character, the protagonist by the name of you. Yes. Uh, I understand. Thank you. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah I, I, I want to be included on the... On that, <laughs> my, you're my also interested. Uh -huh. You're <laughs> also English interested in doing role very, plays. Yeah, yeah. You forgive me. My English is very weak. <laughs> it's very no, weak. no forgiveness for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Say anyone, anyone else, Bokar. Anyone else? Actually, it is time uh, for the silent subgroup, people who have not yet spoken. We have a few minutes to hear from anyone who has not yet spoken, and then we'll do five minutes of surprises, learnings, and then uh, I will pass over to Richard for his class. So anyone who has not spoken yet today, you are part of the silent subgroup. There's always valuable information. You don't have to talk, but if, if yeah, who's, who's that? Aisha from Indonesia. Hi Aisha, go ahead. Okay, uh, talking about the role play, as a teacher, we often sometimes uh, make any kind of role plays, for especially for uh, the kid class, because uh, we try to attract, uh, to attract or pay attention for all this, uh, kids, other learners, the young learners. So as a teacher, we have to more creative to make any role play 
in the class. So it's quite interesting for me to talk about it. Sometimes, especially in the class, to, uh, in the to for uh, the prologues before we um, starting the lessons. Sometimes I try to uh, tell a story and I try to make any role play, uh, especially when I try to um, uh, uh, tell a story or the, on any fables or the fictions. So sometimes it's quite difficult for me to imitate any, <clears throat> any kind of um, the sounds of the animals, for example. So sometimes I try to do my best to imitate any kind of the voice of the animals and um, to make um, all the students or my, uh, the kids uh, make uh, them entertaining uh, during I uh, tell the story. Okay, that's all uh, my experience uh, to um, for uh, discussing for this topic that Oscar want to discuss in this class, uh, in this meeting, I mean, and that's my experience, um, how to make any role play in the class. Thank you. Thank you, Anybody? Aisha. We're going into surprises and learnings now. We have four minutes, lightning round, surprises, learnings, satisfactions, dissatisfactions, discoveries, next moves. It's a way to wrap up the one hour we spent together and review anything that was important to you. Does anyone have a surprise or a learning? This is Amira uh, from Libya. Amira then Richard. Uh, today I'm surprised because uh, a lot of new members coming here for uh, the Zoom session. And um, I'm very happy because I listen from different uh, people. Um, yeah, anyone else? Richard. Uh, I will be the second. Uh, Richard Oscar. then Oscar. Was yeah. it you? I think it's Richard. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead, Richard. Sure. My surprise learning is just join here and be good listening. And and I, I'm I'm hearing about a role play. Is that a satisfaction, yeah, Richard? Ah, uh, satisfaction. Yeah. 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 Okay, you're satisfied to be here, have an opportunity to do some good listening and talk about role plays, right? Yeah. Please okay. James. Great, Oscar. Oh, well, so I actually I'm really, you know, surprised because we we have got a lot of new, I mean, new participants in this, you know, exclusive platform, which really amazed, I mean, really surprised me. And otherwise, my dissatisfaction, I mean, with my, my topic, I had dropped down, which I wait, it's great. Sometimes people feel different. Sometimes people may not try to see the same thing that we're interested in, but I think we are we do that next time. I'm more happy to see you all guys, especially for newcomers in this platform. Keep joining the group. You are the right place to improve your speaking skills. Thank you. We have to see you back here. You all newcomers. Thank you. Anyone else? Other surprises, learnings, satisfactions dissatisfactions, discoveries, next moves. Hello, sir. Can you hear Muhammad, me? Mohammed, Mahadi. Yes, I can. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, already I have uh, mentioned here that this is my first class today here. Uh, actually, uh, for the first time today, I said something on this platform because there have a lot of experts, uh, but I did it. This is my uh, satisfaction. And I don't have any dissatisfaction. And I have one uh, discover. My discovery is, you know, I have searched a lot of group uh, or platform to develop my English level. But uh, this is one of the best group I realized. This is my uh, discover. And I will try to be here. Thank you, sir. Very happy to have you. Yeah, this is Ronnie from Egypt. In, in a minute. 
Um, yes, I'm happy. So I'm satisfied about the uh, today lesson because uh, the ambient of uh, the today lesson is happy. No debate for uh, 40 minutes, like yesterday. Hmm. Yeah, and I'm satisfied too because it's my first time to uh, know about uh, the role plays. Hmm. Yeah. Great. Uh, well, well, Rania, we'll leave it there. Everyone, thank you for coming. Um, I'm going to pass over to Richard now, and he's going to um, teach a class in uh, for one hour. I'm going to introduce Richard. Let me just pull up Richard's self-introduction. Actually, I just want to check with you, Richard that you gave us an introduction, is that right? Do we have an introduction from you? Yeah, I remember, here it is. Um, Richard Austin from Indonesia. He's a university student, a YouTube and three, uh, on YouTube and in three weeks became an English teacher working with James. He likes to teach listening, phrasal verbs and idioms. When he was in primary school, he studied too much grammar and sound drills. He likes to work out, learn languages, watch English, European films, traveling, singing, and reading English articles. Um, his level is B1 on the TOEFL score, and he's currently learning 23 languages. Is that true? 23 languages. That is the first time I've heard that. Richard, yeah. over to yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I learned by film, by film, by. Amazing. By That's a lot of languages. Over to you, Richard. Now, Richard, just so yeah. you know, I am mm -hmm. not here as a co host. So uh, I'm passing over the host of the call to Ahmed. Okay. I am here, Mr. Agri. And then Ahmed, went, actually, I'm not the host. I will be a co-host. So when I pass you the host, please pass me back co-host because I, otherwise I am not co-host. Okay. Do you hear me? My voice is audible. Uh, it's low, but I can hear you. Okay, thanks everybody. And over to you, Richard. Yeah, sure, James. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Hello, Richard. Hello. Hello, Hello this is Mehdi Hassan. Can you hear me? Yes, uh, I'm doing great. Yeah. How about you? I'm doing pretty well. Hello, Richard. How are you? So I'm so glad to be How here. How about you? I'm fine. I'm so glad to be here to meet you online on this website conversational. And I <clears throat> want to hear you got some knowledge from you. <laughs> ah, sure. Uh, thank you. No way. Ahmed, please make me co-host, Ahmed. When when I pass host, it me it I lose co-host. So please uh, pass me co-host whenever I make you host. Excuse me, just, just a minute, please. Can you see the screen? Everybody? Yes. Yes, of yeah. course. Yes, uh, we can see. Okay. Yeah. Today we learn a uh, phrasal verb. So a phrasal verb is a set of two words a verb and a preposition like put out, 
in everyday English, we we prefer using phrasal verbs. Compare uh, these two sentences. Richard, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I am having a really hard time to understand you. Can you speak up loud, please? I, I think I speak up. Maybe I, I use my earphone mic. Can you hear me now? Yeah, much better now. Yeah. Okay, sure, sure. So, a phrasal verb is set of two words, a verb and a preposition, like put out. In, in everyday English, we prefer using phrasal verb. Compare these two sentences. Uh, please put out your cigarette. Please uh, extinguish your cigarette. For some phrasal verb, the direct object come after the position. I call on Steve when I was in Miami. We can suffer so so separate some phrasal verb and put the dialect object between the verb and the preposition or after the preposition please turn on the light please turn the light on in case like a four above if you use a pronoun it's it must come between the verb and the preposition. And a pronoun never follow the preposition in a phrasal verb. If the phrasal verb can be separate, I turn it on, not I turn on it. Um, excuse me, Richard. Uh, could yeah. you please uh, try and zoom? Because uh, the letters are so tiny and uh, we're having a hard time you know, reading on the screen. Thank you. Just zoom a bit. Uh, can can you see the screen? Yeah, I can see your screen, but it's so, so tiny. Like. Okay, I can zoom it. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Much better, Richard. Yeah, thank you. Who wants Richard, to read? Let's raise can your can you hear me, Richard? If you yeah. that is file, you can't can send me. I share my screen. I help you. Okay. I how I send to you this my PDF. Admin. Yes, sure. I send, send me you on Discord. Discord. I share my screen. I help you. Okay. Okay. Let me okay. go to Discord.
Richard Ahmed, this is something to do before class. James? I said this is something, the uh, technical thing, the technical preparation for the class is something to do before class. Right now there are 30 people in the class and nothing is happening. I, I will zoom my, my screen. Hello, how are you everyone? Um, Richard, I think you can, oh, James. Go ahead, Rama. Um, James, uh, I mean, sorry, Richard, I think you can carry on uh, with the screen. You had zoomed and yeah, it was quite visible. Yeah, yeah that's better. Yeah. <clears throat> So the word is back away. Want to read and raise, raise your hand. Uh, what is this mute. topic? We learn idiom. Back away, definition, to retreat. Use a person can back away from something, structure. Back away from something, example. You're back away from a fight. Uh, the union back away from their demand for more vacation time. Practice. Do you know someone who has backed away from a, a fight? Uh, backup definition to reverse uh, the direction of something. Use people back up cars, machine, uh, furniture. Structure, back up something or back something up. Sample, I almost hit the lamp post when I back up my car. Can you back the desk up a little bit? Practice, do you need to back up, to back something up in your house? Definition, to support a person Business project example. You know, someone can back up a person emotionally or something financially. Structure back up someone or back someone up. Example, my parents back me up when I had trouble in college. John family back up his new business with with a, a loan. Practice, have you ever backed someone up? Has someone backed you up?
block up definition to obstruct the passage of something used. Someone or something can block up a road. Walking part is structure. Block up something or block something of sample after the storm. A fallen tree block up the sidewalk. The fire department block the lot of the several hours. Practice. When was the last time you saw a lot a road that was broke out? Breakdown definition to stop working. Use machine and vehicle can break down. Structure something break down. Sample my car broke down, so I took the bus to work. Lolly said her laptop broke down, so the boss gave her a new one. Practice. Do you have something that broke down recently? Who want to read can raise your hand. Hi, my name is Aman. Aman. I would like to read out the, the word from the screen. Okay, sure. Uh, this one, breakdown. Breakdown. Hmm. Definition. To analyze, uh, to analyze, yeah. Uh, use a person can back away away from something. Uh, structure back away from something. Examples: Joe back away from a fight. The union back away from their demand for more. Vacation time practice. Do you know someone who has backed away from a fight? Raise over to back up. Definition to reverse the direction of something. Use. People back up cars, machines, and furniture. Structure back up something or back something up. Examples I almost hit the lamp post when I backed up my car. Can you back that desk up a little bit? Practice. Do you need to back something up in your house? Nice, Aman. Yeah, thank you. You can Don't say something. Anyone else? Okay. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah, sure. Yeah, Rama. Yeah, sure. Okay. Back up. Uh, yeah. Back up. The definition is uh, to support a person, business, project, etc. Uh, use someone can back up a person emotionally or something financially. Uh, the structure uh, back up someone or back someone up. Examples, my parents backed me up when I had trouble in college. John's family backed up his new business with a loan. Practice, have you ever backed, up, backed someone up? Has someone backed you up? Thank you. Anyone else? Nice, Rama. And Aman, no, no mistake.
Go ahead. Go ahead. Thanks, Richard. Uh, yeah, the phrasal yeah. verb break down uh, definition to stop working. Use machines and vehicles can break down. A structure something breaks down. Examples, my car broke down, so I took the boss to work. Lori said her laptop broke down, so the boss gave her a new one. Practice, do you have something that broke down recently? No, I have Nice, Eric. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone else? Back down to to imagine something can back down with this like a parents uh, come back any Yeah, you you can you can read. Use this. Someone come back. Down things like um personal support of a uh, permanent uh, structure. Break it uh, sometimes uh, down on breakdown sometimes. Example, I have a, I have to break down uh, in sellers figure, figures uh, for Friday meetings. The boss asked me to which break which down. one you read? I, I don't get it. Can you read uh definition? Uh, who who is read? Who want to read? Uh, raise raise your hand. Eric, you want to read again? Sure. Ah, sure. I don't know who, who is right. I, I don't get what the, <clears throat> the pronouns the word. Uh -huh. This is another meaning of breakdown. Uh, definition to analyze. Use uh, someone can break down things like fi financial reports or a formula. Structure, break something down or break down something. Examples. I have to break down the sales figures for Friday Friday's meeting. Friday. Friday's meetings, yeah. Um, the boss asked me to break the report down for him. Uh, practice, have you broken down a report or some uh, figures recently? Figures. Figures, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Thank you, Eric. Thank Anyone you. else? Or you can set your name first, so I, I will know. You can say this is like this. For example, this is Eric. Then go ahead. Hello, this is uh, Mohammed. Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Go ahead. 
Fraser okay, wrote thanks. seven, break in. Yes, I'm going to read uh, the number seven phrasal verb here, which is break in uh, definition to wear something until it becomes comfortable. Well. well. Hello, can you hear? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, use someone can break in clothing, shoes, sporting equipment, etc. Structure, break in something or break something in. Examples, it's a nice leather jacket, but I need to break it in. It might take a week to break in these tennis shoes. Practice, what have you broken in recently? Thank you. Okay, your mistake is clothing and... Uh, your mistake is clothing and wear. That's that's all. You can see anyone else and. Okay. Uh, anyone else? And they do the same. Say 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 their name. Okay, Mary, go ahead. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Praise verb, uh, praise verb eight, break into. Definition, to enter a place illegally or without permission. Use, someone breaks into with the, with the intention of stealing or doing damage. Structure, break into something. Examples, I heard someone broke into the, the coffee shop last night. Someone broke into my car or stole the stereo. British, has someone ever broken into your car? Yes, sir. Thank you. Anyone is not someone. Yes, someone. No, it's anyone. Has anyone? You say someone. Yes. Yeah. I heard the anyone broken. Yes. Okay. Anyone else you can say? They can say their names. <clears throat> Uh, and I go on. Ah, sure. Go ahead. That's okay. Uh, break into mm. definition to successfully into uh, enter a business or industry. Yes, a person can break into the arts or a business field structure. Break into something. Examples. Larry broke into the fashion industry right after graduating university. Breaking into the music business takes hard work and endurance. Right this. 
would you like to break into the music business? Business. Okay, your mistake is endurance and successfully. 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 Yes, yeah, successfully. Successfully. Okay. Yes. You can see anyone else. They can set their name and then. I'm Richard. I think yeah. you're sharing content at the same time, uh, trying to admit people into the class. So I think it's better you do not admit them. Just stick on the page of your content and uh, the co-hosts uh, will do that job for you. All right? Yeah. Thank okay. you. This is Islam Azizi. Hello. Okay. Hello. You can read phrasal verb ten. Read out. Yes. Uh, phrasal verb uh, definition to ex uh, expand. What? Stop. You can read, yeah. And definition to mm. expect from some uh, some we are use uh, a per a person or uh, our an animal. Uh, can break out of their uh, can uh, frame uh, structure, break out uh, of uh, somewhere. Example: the uh, the bank breaker uh, breaker break out of print uh, press. Yeah, go ahead. Hello, Islam. Out of, yes. Yeah. Out of prison uh, last week, uh, my dog uh, tried to break out of Come. the uh, big read today. Practice. Uh, does you are uh, does you are dog our you are nigger uh, dog try to break out of the ear. Yard. Yard. Back yards. And, and con confinement. Your mistake. Back yard yard confinement. Mistake. Thank you. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, this is Anil from India. Okay. I want to read this special work for eleven break up. So definition to separate from someone or end a or end a romantic relationship. Use a person can break up with another person. Structure break up with bracket in person. Example: I heard Brenda broke up with her boyfriend. 
Suzy decided to break up with Jimmy after five years. Practice. Do you know someone who has broken up with someone recently? Back to group. Okay. Anyone else? I could try. Yeah, sure. Who who is it? <laughs> My name is Anna. I am from Hungary. Okay. Uh, bring down definition to make the perceived or said or blue use a person or even can bring a person down. A structure bring someone down. Examples. The bad weather has really brought me down. George says sitting in heavy traffic brings him down. Practice what brings you down. Okay, your mistake is uh, depressed and down. Only two. Uh, depressed, okay. To make depressed. the depressed. depressed. Depressed and depressed. down. Yeah, your mispronunciation. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no worry. Anyone else? Hello, this is Taufik from Malaysia. Okay. Okay, bring, bring up definition to mention something. Use a person can bring up a conversation topic, structure bring up something or bring something up. Examples, at the party, Tony brought up his new job. Frank always bring his ex-girlfriends up when he met a new girl. Practice, do you have a friend that brings up something from the past? Okay, anyone else? Yes, hello. How are you? Yeah. Um, I'm from Somali. Okay. Um, bringing up a definition, trace children, use the property, the print of driver can be bring up the child, stranger, the bring up. Someone or to bring someone of our. Uh, for example, my parents both me up in New York, in the New York. Um, Pray is there bringing his kids up the nursery. Practice and do you know someone? Who the bring up their kids right right now? Thank you. Okay, okay. Your mistake is broad. Yeah. Uh, your mispronunciation is broad. Um. Uh, thank you. Yeah. So Cal Cal a race. Yeah. yeah. Thank you again. Anyone else? Hello. Yeah. Uh, this is Muhammad. I'm going to read uh, number 15, present verb. Mm. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. So, number 15, present verb is call back definition to telephone someone who had telephoned you. Use a person can call back someone who just called them. Structure call someone back or call back someone. Examples I need to call you, call my sister back. Did you call back the technician about your computer? Practice who did you call back today? Thank you. Okay. 
This is Amira. Go ahead, May I? Amira. Yeah, sure. Okay. Mm, call off definition mm. to cancel music. A person can call off a schedule event, structure, call off something or call something off. Examples, mm, we, uh, uh, we called off the golf game due to the bad weather. I don't want to call the party off even though, is, though it is uh, snowing. Practice, have you ever call, called off something because of the weather? Anyone else? Okay, your, your, my B or Miss Pronan is a, a cancel, you say cancel. Cancel. Yeah, cancel. Because James one American English is not a British. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> British is cancer. <laughs> but American is cancer. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah, this is Aman. Okay, Aman. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, the, the whole thing are again. Um, on. The definition to visit, use. A person can call an, on another person. Uh, structure, call on someone. Examples. I called on Steve when I was in Miami. We call on our good customer once a month. Practice. How often do you call on someone? Who is it? Okay, Amma. How about we we make we make an example in 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 the number one? So so this activity not only reading. One. Uh, who who want who want to make an example, make a sentence, and set your name, and go right. ahead. Back away from from uh, those alligator. They might bite you, and you might bleed from getting bitten by the alligator from the swamp. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's all. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> Can I try this one, Mr. Austin? Sure, go ahead. Nobody want you can do it. <laughs> okay. Until the uh, meeting is end. <laughs> yeah. So okay. Uh, we're we're on. We are under fire. Uh, call for backup. Call for backup. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> call for for uh, you know, reinforcement. Yeah. <laughs> Want to make a sentence of broke off? Um, this is Amira, Richard. Um, yeah. I'm so sorry. Uh, the share your uh, you share another screen. Okay. Okay. Clay, please fix it for this yeah. screen. <laughs> I, I switched to the Zoom meeting to see who, who raised their hand. 
uh, broke out, broke off. You want to make a sentence of broke out, a broke off. Um, this is Amira. After the wire, mm. um, the, all houses are uh, um, block off in my side, on in my country. Yeah, yeah. Anyone else want to make sentences of breakdown? You can set your name. Can I try? Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Abu Jahad. Can you say again? Yeah. What's your name? Abu Jahad. Okay. Go. Go ahead. Breakdown. Breakdown. Break break down. Down. Definition to stop no, working. It's not, it's not a reading. It's not a reading. It's a make a sentence. What? I'm a make a understand. sentence. A make a sentence of breakdown. Make a sentence example of breakdown. I will start for breakdown. Yeah, you made the sentence of breakdown. I'm not clear for your talk. I I said you made a breakdown, made a sentence of breakdown. breakdown. It's not a reading. It's not a reading. Here is so many, here, here is so many reading. Breakdown. Yeah, you made a sentence of breakdown. Yeah, breakdown. Definition to stop writing, no, uh, working. Use. Mention uh, and vehicles can break down. Structure sometimes, no, something break Love down. Me. Example. It's not My reading. Thought. Make a sentence. Don't read. So reading yeah. is over. Oh, sorry. Yeah. One make a sentence. Just yeah, set your head. Yeah, go ahead, Amira. Uh, I think uh, make a sentence. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because maybe sometimes uh, um, pronunciation is very difficult because different accent. So I think uh, he uh, he didn't understand you. Okay, um, for me, um, my laptop uh, break down before my presentation. Okay, nice. Let me try, Richard. Yeah, sure, Nani. <laughs> because the this, lab. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go, go ahead. Go, go, go. No, because what? No, because if we if we are teaching by only reading is is so boring. So yeah, you put the I question. You should my ask plan. the person. <laughs> yeah, great. You put the question yeah. under at the bottom. Why didn't you ask the person who read? To answer the question. <laughs> okay, let me answer the question under why did you change the screen? Oh, I can't read that anymore. <laughs> Keep moving the screen. Let it still. Yeah. Can, can you see? Drag up, drag up. I want to see the practice part at the bottom. Can you see? At the bottom, at the bottom, at the bottom. 
Break out, practice, a breakdown. Okay, yeah, what break is down. the question? I mean, a sentence of breakdown. Okay, the love letter break her heart down. Okay. Anyone else? <laughs> I will. I could try. <laughs> break in. <laughs> oh my god. Oh uh, my god. <laughs> I could try break down, please. Ah, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, uh, my youngest uh, grandchild break down a uh, uh, glass uh, during uh, lunch. Okay. Nice. Nice answer. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes, I agree. Uh, made the sentence of break in. Nani Indonesia. Go ahead, I'm Nani. So <laughs> <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants you can do it until my my I'm... class is end. <laughs> No worries, no worries. You are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to say? You blocked me. <laughs> okay. I was alone at home. Then suddenly there is a, uh, a sound next to the door. I might guess someone trying to break into my house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyone else? Now it's break in two. Uh, this Aman, I would like to try this out. Ah, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> so also tell us your English. <laughs> my English. My I mean name. our English. We are. We are learner. We are not a native speaker. Oh yeah, we are learner. We are not native speaker. Yeah, it's telling yeah. our English. Idiom, yeah. phrasal verb. Idiom, phrasal verb. We are learning uh, idiom and phrasal verb in here. And yeah. I'll give out my example about the word break into. Break into. Uh, I, I, uh, yesterday, there were two people. Uh, no, no, hold on, wait. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, my friend told me a story about his best friend tried to break into his house for the purpose of stealing his um, anything that were that that were that was in 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 his, in his house. So yeah, for that purpose, they break into for the purpose of stealing uh, his furniture. Uh, example like uh, uh, long cushion and uh, a table in the, in the living room and yeah, and some stuff like that. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Then, yeah. I will change to idiom because Write down a phrasal verb and idiom. If if I only teach a phrasal verb, I have a trouble. You done, Richard? I want more. No, I mean. <laughs> Idiom, idiom. Okay, go, go, go. Yeah, I, I open my idiom here. PDF. No, I have here. a trouble if, if I only teaching a phrasal verb. Only write down there. Phrasal verb and idiom.
Are you finished? Okay. I think uh, Richard uh, uh, Ahmed's network is kind of low. Richard, were you saying yeah. something? I I I I said I'm I'm switched to idiom because because the schedule is write down a phrasal verb and idiom. If I teaching only a phrasal verb, I have trouble. Okay, who want to make the sentence of idiom a hot potato? You can set your name. I would like to try uh, this out, a hot potato. Um, example, right? Giving example, is it? Or read yeah, the... Yeah, you can see the screen. Okay. So I will give the example. Terrorism is a political hot potato in Afghanistan. Yeah, uh, that's all. Anybody else? Anyone else? You can say your name. This is Amira. Yeah. Um, Go ahead, penny, Amira. Yeah, a penny for your thoughts. Mean mm. meaning way of asking what some someone is thinking. Example: After several mi minutes of silent, he finally looked at her uh, and said. A penny for you, thoughts, Lily. Yeah. Can can you make a sentence, Amira? No. <laughs> okay. But it's all right. You can read it. And anyone yeah. else? Anyone else? This is Eric. The yeah. idiom uh, number three. Action speak louder than words. Meaning, what you do is more significant than what you say. Example, I'm sorry, I'll try to be a better person henceforth. She, I actually speak louder than words. Can you make a sentence, Eric? I don't think so. Ah, it's all right. This is not a beginner. <laughs> because uh, this is idiom. Idiom is uh, advanced, advanced stuff or uh, upper intermediate. Can I try this, Aman? Yeah, sure. All right, I'll, I'll read it all. Add insult to injury, injury, meaning to make a bad situation worse. Example, their basement was flooded and then to add insult to injury, the pipe burst in the kitchen. Okay, uh, example for myself, uh, this word, mm. like, like I think like, like this thing. Uh, uh okay uh my pc is really hot really hot the 
to add insult to the injury, I, yeah, I put, um, maybe I bake, I put my PC to, to add insult to injury uh, and, and the fact that my PC is hot right now, I straightforward put my, my computer inside a microwave and I turn the temperature into 100 Celsius. And then finally it melted down and becomes like, uh, uh, like, yeah, something like, like melting kind of uh, object thing. So yeah, like that. Anybody else? This yeah, is anybody else. Yeah, Richard, go ahead, Ahmed. Yes. Yeah, I can hear you, uh, Ahmed. So actually, uh, we have the one hour to your class, Richard. Uh, we yeah. finish it this, uh, this hour. Okay. So if you don't mind, uh, mm. you conclusion your class, you know, if you have the maybe one example, two example, you finish the class today. So thank you so much. Just I wanted to tell you that. Sure. Today we learn about uh, phrasal verb and idiom. So for me, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Actually, I get some information about the phrasal verb. So mm -hmm. I'm very interesting and satisfied about that. So thank you so much about that, Richard. Yeah. Keep going. No worry, Ahmed. Because this is so useful for us to improve our English to next level. Sure. This is topic from Malaysia. Uh, Richard, I uh, saw your videos on Facebook when I was doing the, the Facebook page, page of Jim's Green class. And I'm shocked that you're doing this class for today. And, and I'm happy that and have I'm happy for today's class, and I'm proud of you. Thank you. Anyone else? Thank you. Thank you. Can I give my uh, uh the prize? Yeah, can I give yeah, my go, uh, go. Go ahead, man. satisfaction <laughs> and learning experience? Yeah, I learned a lot. I learned the phrasal verb. It was fun. I love using it up in, in, any, in, in any kind of situation where I want to, you know, tell, like, tell, tell people what I want to tell them, you know, by using the phrasal verb that you had, uh, they call it, you had presented in front of us all in you and it was fun. I love it. And I <clears throat> thank you. Is anybody else? Nani Indonesia, Richard Richard. Yeah. Richard, you're doing great. And first the technical problem. Uh, this is my dissatisfaction first. And the second still have a technical problem. You have to manage and uh, contact the board director how to share screen something else that might be yeah. for the next book. Yeah. Uh, my satisfaction, your confidence and what you believe we need for English that you pushing all learners here, motivated them all. That's the excellent one. No give up. Okay. Keep going. Yeah, thank you, Nani. Yeah. No worries. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Richard. Uh, yeah, thank you, everybody. So if you don't edit anything, we finish the class now.
No, thank you. Okay, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Are you finished the class now? Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye, Richard. Goodbye. Thank you so much, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Amen.